Hi guys, Todd here, and TJ. Uh, <laughs> uh, today I got my hands on a did. Uh, well, this is a short, right, okay, enough, enough, enough. Uh, a short did. Uh, I'm an idiot, I really am. Uh, I took a, a barney and I uh, ordered a did the dog out. Uh, ordered a did online the other night uh, and I ended up getting in touch with somebody who I saw was trading a short did and uh, I ended up trading uh, the NGP ring switch that I'd had for <laughs> two days. Uh, I ended up trading that for a short did uh, which I was Somebody I traded with before, Ryan, and uh, hell of a nice bloke, and he met up with me today and we exchanged. And uh, he also gave me some uh, is it the uh, Vermont Vapor Smoke? So I'll, I'm going to have a go at this later on. Uh, but anyway, the short did. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything you don't already know here. You'll have seen all the other reviews. Uh, how to set it up properly. Uh, if you go on Vape Pit, I don't think there's a thread in UK Vapors just now. I think they lost that uh, with the transfer. Uh, but there's a good thread in Vape Pit that takes you through all the hints and tips on uh, what to watch out for setting it up and some of the little foibles with it. Uh, but right now I've got it on a P Plus 18350 with a Good sense DCA short tip, uh, which I think just looks lovely on it. I really do. Um, how does it? Well, usual. How does it vape? Uh, throat hit is fantastic. Said it already, fantastic. I will not use that word again. Uh, throat hit is amazing even and uh, vapour production is outstanding. Uh, I'll just unscrew this. I mean the first thing you'll notice is that I've got a clear tank on it. Uh, this is from I think it's Carfanis that does these tanks. Uh, I know hot spots there, it just keeps vaping away quite the thing. Uh, I had, uh, I've got, a, you probably won't be able to see it there, but I've got a wee spring in there just now, just to wedge the, there's two, what we'll call them, uh, screws, we'll call them two screws just now, uh, or flat washers, screw washers uh, there, and uh, I found at first when I got this and I was coiling it and you know you try to hold the bottom one in place get the coil round and then tighten the top one down to pin it but as soon as you tighten the top one it was actually pushing the bottom one down it like, wasn't making much of a purchase on it and every time I fired it pop fire pop uh, so I went and read the thread and vape pit and somebody mentioned uh, putting a wee spring from a pen in it which I promptly did. I put that spring in there, coiled it all up, fired it, poof, away it went. It fucking, I almost said the word, it was really good. <laughs> the only thing I did do was that I screwed in the the filler screw, the Allen key head, into where you fill the tank up. Uh, but what I didn't notice was that uh, it was actually just touching the edge of the spring here. So Push the button at the bottom and just about blew my finger off, uh, burnt my finger off, because uh, I shorted the thing out. So that was a bit of a fright. So that's why the filler is actually off just now. The, it's the exact same as the other one here. Uh, sits in there. 
Whether you need it or not, I don't know. I don't get any. I've tipped it upside down, and I don't get any juice coming out of it at all. Uh, I do get juice coming out of the the wick, though. Uh, but it it's not tight in the hole. Uh, Dancer was down, and he recommended that you leave it so that it's just sitting in the middle of the hole, but kind of not touching the sides. So I've done that, and uh, and it seems to work. I mean, it, it just I had a hot spot at first and then I just put the syringe back down and just moved it a tiny wee bit, fired that again, hot spot gone and that was it. It's been vaping away quite the thing since I got home today. Uh, the threads on this thing are just lovely. I mean they really are just stunning. Um, the, the whole thing... I mean, I've got the large dish, uh, large did coming, and I've got it coming with a clear tank as well. I've actually got uh, excuse me, just a second. There we go. I've got the tank there. I mean, I got that uh, from Ryan as well, and I got the bag with. Uh, there's a pile of washers in there and another fills it's big washers and tiny wee washers there's a drip tip another fill screw uh, there's some mesh as well that's cut to size and some wick I'm assuming that you get all that with it as well when you buy it uh, I'm just not a fan of it with uh, the stainless tank cover um, I, I really like to be able to see what's in there and it, it just gives it a better look in my opinion. Uh, so, that's really it. Uh, that is the did. Uh, if you want to see how to set it up, coil it, then I suggest you go and look at uh, Scott's videos. Uh, also possibly look at his video where he uses cigarette paper to stop the hot spots. But in all honesty, it, I got the hotspot once, moved the top of the wick, and uh, hotspot gone. Uh, I, I found it really easy to set up. Uh, I know Ryan, I mean part of the reason he traded was that uh, he found the quite footery to get in and about. Uh, whether the the short did and the, the big did, if you want to call it, are, uh, you know, there's less space or they're set up differently, I don't know. But if you can... If you can coil a Cyclone V2, Cyclone V2, then you can basically map and you can coil anything. Uh, or maybe not everything. Because the Hellfire just drives me mad. But when it vapes, it's fantastic. But setting the bugger up. Ah! Uh, anyway, uh, so that's the dead. Uh, the short dead, I should say. I don't, I'm not sure what the capacity is. I think it's. Uh, Two and a half mil, two mil, two and a half mil. Um, what you see there, I mean, that's I've been going on that for a couple of hours now, and it's uh, it's not destroying it like uh, say the help the mini Hellfire or the Genesis line because they seem to really go through the juice. Uh, but the trade off vapor taste and whatnot, uh, so far, I'm really impressed with this. Um, It's got me thinking, uh, I mean I've got a couple of VV mods here and when you're getting vapour production and taste and flavour like this from just a, a standard 3.7 volt mod I'm beginning to think that the VV mods may be going out the window or on the classifieds uh, because I'm really enjoying this, really really enjoying this this setup, it's just fantastic. So anyway uh, just about 10 minutes in, and uh, that's it. Thanks for listening, and uh, remember, you can buy these. I'll put the link to the shop, and you can just buy them direct. There's no waiting lists, anything like that, and that's one of the big attractions for these things. But uh, thanks for listening, guys, and catch you later. Bye now.